So the first thing I want to refresh or recap on is the idea of getting a new guitar. Uh, you are welcome to go to Guitar Center. I just have customer service issues in the past, you could say. I like the more locally owned places because more often my experience has been they care about you more. Some guitar centers have people that actually really care about you and they will do their best to make your experience a good one. But unfortunately I, like many others, have not had the greatest experience. But anyway, so that's why I say music around because they're definitely smaller guys. I think they might, there's a better chance they'll care about you and try and help you more. Also, you might get a better deal. Used gear at Guitar Center is overpriced in my opinion. Music around, from what I've seen, it could have changed, I don't know. Uh, but typically music around is a really good place for the used gear. Uh, if you if you look to spend at least 200 I'm sure you can find a decent used one. Uh, find a pretty good deal. But yeah, just I would set a budget for what you're willing to spend and try only try guitars that are within that range and just see what feels good see what feels nice that's the most important thing right now as far as like what pickups are being used what you know i prefer 24 frets right now if you only get a guitar that has 22 that's fine um definitely really doesn't matter what wood it's made from uh yeah just whatever it feels good i mean like we Cause like I could say like oh you want to look for a Fender or you want to look for a Charvel or you want to look for a Paul Reed Smith or you want to look for Schechter or this or that it doesn't right now it doesn't matter uh, there's every every single guitar that's made well has good things about them and things that people don't like like you know people rave about Gibson guitars like I don't want a Gibson people rave about Fenders I don't want a Fender. I, this is the only brand I really want to have. I mean, I do like Schecter's. I like the way those feel. I like the way Paul Reed Smith's feel. So, you know, if I wasn't going to get a Monson, I'd probably go with a Schecter. Um, I've, I've heard really good things about Music Man by Ernie Ball, but I've never played one. So, anyway, it, it, yeah, it just really matters just what feels right in your hands. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get to these chords. <clears throat> So, uh, first progression, we got A5, G5, A minor, B minor, A5, G5, A minor, B minor. Next one, we have C, D minor, C5, A5. C, D minor, C5, A5. Next one we have E5, F, E minor, D5, E5, F, E minor, D5. And last progression, A5, C, G5, B minor, A5, C, G5, B minor. Now the fun things. So, <clears throat> I just you gotta remember, well, when you were here, you, you were trying to talk out what it said which is perfectly fine. And that's exactly what you need to do because all you're doing is following, uh, follow, it's like following steps that we've covered. It's just now they're all mixed up in, a, in another way. So, like he said, you, you pick the five, hammer to seven, slide to 10, pick that nine. Now, so get your hands set up for the second bar because now you're going to pick the nine Pull off seven, slide to five, and then pick the seven. Just talk yourself through it as many times as you need to. So here we go with the repeat first thing.
the last one, you got the exact same idea. You got your pick, hammer, slide, pick. Adjust your hand for the second bar. Pick, pull, slide, pick. And repeat. And just because we're both nerds, here's a cool trick. So anytime you're broke, you just do that. And you just start raking in the coins. I'll, I'll show you how to do that when you come in next week. Um, yeah, if, if for whatever reason uh, there's trouble finding a guitar, give me a call. And if I'm around, I will answer. And I just let, uh, if I don't, just leave a message about, you know, like what issues you might be having. I would say let's go look together, but um, there's, unfortunately, there's really no place up here I could think of close by that we could go, go look at that I want to. I don't even know if they would be open late on a, or that late on a Sunday. But anyway, I don't know. Um, yeah, just let me know if there's, there's any trouble and see what I can do. All right, we'll see you next week.